Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing a root main from Try Hack Me. This box is rated about easy, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so to get started, I'm actually open my terminal here. Uh, let me just split my terminals. So I'm going to run a uh, mmap scan on the target. So I'm going to do minus, uh, let me move my keyboard. So I'm going to do mmap minus sc minus sv. Uh, we'll scan all ports on that machine. I won't do minus V for verbose. Um, here we do see that we have a port 80 for port 80 open for HTTP and port 22 for SSH. Um, so I'm open my uh, browser and visit the IP address. Here we do get a root at root me. Uh, this let's do control U to check the source code. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any local file inclusion or any of that. So here um, I'm gonna run a go. I'm gonna run a go buster. I'm gonna do go buster dir mode minus U HTTP. We'll do minus w as a user share with this uh, dirt buster. I uh, will use directory list 2.3 medium.txe. We'll specify the extensions as HTML, TXE, and also PHP. Uh, we do get a slash panel here, so I'm going to just uh, visit our slash panel. Look at the slash panel. We can actually upload a, um, a file, right? Uh, let's try to upload a PHP shell. So I'm going to do a PHP um, reverse uh, shell. Let's uh, go to Pentest Monkey. Let's view the raw data real quick and try to w get this. So I'm gonna go under my uh, try hack me. So we're gonna do mk dir root me. We're gonna cd into root me. Uh, let's try to w get the file. Um, so here I'm gonna get my IP address here. So I can just do ifconfig to view my uh, IP address. Okay, so I'm gonna vi into uh, php rishaw.php. I'm gonna go into interactive mode and delete this. Uh, put my IP address in here, and also uh, put this on running on 4444, so we can get a connection back. So now we do have our uh, php rishaw.php. Okay, so when uploading a php shell, there can be two things I can filter. It can either it can either filter out the extension, or it can either filter out the content type, right? So let's try to send this into burp sleep. Uh, I, right now I'm using my try hack me for foxy proxy. So let's open up burp super quick. Uh, we can just click next and we can start up our proxy and send this to intruder or repeater actually. Uh, so we can go to specify address as this IP address for try hack me. Go to enter set, make sure that's on. Um, so here, uh, let's go back to our panel. Let's try to upload um, our shell. So let's go under um, try hack me, root me, php river shout out php. Uh, let's upload this. Um, I think because I actually have this on a different port, so let's edit this and go to port 881. Okay, so let's go back. Let me actually turn this off. Let's go to slash panel. So we can upload our shell. Let's um, clear this real quick. Um, so we can go to upload now. Uh, we do see this. Uh, we do see our shell right here. So let's actually send this to, uh, send this to repeater and we can just click send. So when we do send it, we do get a um, PHP is not uh, found or not, uh, not found, but not allowed that PHP file is not allowed. Um, so the first thing we can do, um, we do see that this is application.jp or application um, as PHP, right? So we can just change the content type to um, image.jpg or slash for jpg, image.jpg. Uh, uh, it's still not allowed. So the next thing I would do is actually uh, press enter, type in gif um, 89, um, I believe it's 89a. Uh, we can press send on that. Uh, still not letting us. Um, just to test this out, I'm gonna change the extension to uh, JPG. Uh, it does show that this is successful. Um, we do have a um, upload, so let's try, to, let's try to go to our uploads here. Let me just turn this off. And we do have our PHP reverse shell uh, JPG. 
So if that doesn't work, I'll just try to change the version of uh, PHP. So let's uh, do PHP, um, PHP 5, see if that works. Uh, we click send, oh, you do see that this is successful. So now if we redo, uh, refresh our uploads uh, directory, uh, we do get a PHP version of uh, PHP 5. So I'm just gonna copy this. So I'm gonna copy uh, link location. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna curl this. Uh, let me start my listener. So I'm gonna do all wrap netcap minus lnvp on four 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 four. We can press enter. Uh, we do get a shell, so now I can just export my term to go to xterm. Now I should be able to clear this. Um, so now let's actually view the um, the spawn a uh, tty shell. Go to bash, and we do get a uh, shell, right? So we can clear this, right? Um, so next thing I'm going to try to exploit is actually exploit the SUID bit set. So um, I do have a cheat sheet for this. So I'm going to search up SUID. Uh, I'll do a cheat uh, sheet. I can do Control F SUID. Uh, we do get that we can run uh, these uh, bit sticky bits, right? Um, So let's try to run our uh, SUID, chmod4000. So we can press enter on that. And the one that we're going to be exporting is user bin python. So we're going to go to um, our, um, let's go to gtfo bins. Here you can just search up uh, python. Uh, we can go to SUID. And we, you do see that we can run the SUIDs right here. Uh, we do want a persistent uh, shell. So let's change this to uh, bash. Now I do ID. Um, I think it only works for bash, but uh, we do get a shell, right? And now we are under the under root, right? So now, so now we can see the answer root. And there's our root, uh, TXC, right? Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Uh, this box is rated about really easy. Or it's rated about easy, but in my opinion, it's rated really easy. But, well, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.